<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 25 gameplay here. I have a mutt match here, and I got somebody that's very new, newly acquired Johnny Menzel. You're going to see his card coming up right here. 94 overall, you lead Johnny Menzel. Money! Shout out to TDK on that statement right there, man. And, um, this I got because of that now I got three quarterbacks now I got I got Johnny Manziel elite I got the playoff 96 overall of Andrew Luck and I have the ultimate legend Warren Moon man so we have three quarterbacks that we could choose I only used Warren Moon once then I went and got this Johnny Johnny Manziel I like this card man I might use this card for the rest of the season I don't know man everybody else is using Johnny Manziel so like let me see what all see all the big fuss is about and you know what I, I like this card I like this card I didn't have the best game with him right here though. To me, so far, he kind of, I've played about three or four games with him. He, he kind of seems like a, uh, as you look at my opponent's squad right here, he kind of seems like a, uh, I, I'm either going to have a good game or a bad game kind of a card. That's what that's, the, that's what I'm the, what I'm getting so far. But let's talk about my players, my opponent's team right here, man. The team is okay. Not a bad team, not a great team. Probably 88, 89 overall, 90 tops. He's good in some areas, great in some areas, and um, kind of bad in some areas. Now, he only has an 80 overall. J.J. Watt at the left end. But then again, man, that's J.J. Swat, man. So that might <laughs> 80, that 80 might be a little deceptive, man. That might be more like a 90, man, because he's just an out, outstanding player man he's just an absolute beast so yeah um so he, he throwing pretty, he's, he's pretty good yeah, i mean he's a pretty good he has a pretty good team not a great team but a pretty good team an 88 89 overall team not bad i try to go deep right here but johnny manziel overthrows it just a little bit and i'm um, coming down the field man coming down the field right here i'm trying to make something happen and look at this oh my goodness man that was that was my bad right there honestly i didn't even see that guy I truly didn't see that guy. I would have seen him. I would not have thrown that. My point got the interception and the ball. Let's see what they can do, man. Coming down the field, he's trying a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Second down to two. Check this out, man. Look what happens, man. He threw a pick. I mean, I threw a pick, and now he throws a pick. Look at this, man. The boy, Derek Johnson, man. <laughs> One of my favorite cards in the in mutt man this year one of my favorite cards maybe my favorite card man i don't know man but on defense he might be my favorite card no he's not a top hitter he, he's a, he can hit but he's not a huge hitter right you know like um like like lawrence taylor or, or ray lewis or, or Derek brooks but what he does very well he's an outstanding coverage um defense a lot i'm sorry um linebacker and that is what i need right now as you can see right here i get the ball to the boy shannon sharp gets the first down right there for 11 yards Let's kind of try to come down the field, try to mix it up, try to figure out a way to get this first score. Check out the adjustments I made right here. This was going to be a screen to Jamal Charles. Well, I seen his, his player was backed up a little bit. So I hit him with the screen right there with Chris Carter. And that's our first touchdown of the game. I will take that. Um... If he's going to give it to me, I got to take it, man. Not cheesing to me. You know, I got to do whatever. I got to make the proper adjustments to get down the field and score, especially in Mutt, man. You know how hard he is to score in Mutt sometimes. You know, he doesn't have a 99 overall team, but still, Mutt is, a, Mutt is so challenging. Is that you want to get, you know, you kind of want to try to get these kind of wins if you can. Because you know you're going to face, you know them 99 overall teams is right around the corner, right next door. So, you know, if you get a team like this that's in your grass, you know, you kind of want to you kind of want to cut that grass. <laughs> but third down at three, he's up getting the first down. We're almost getting the first down. Fourth down at inches, can he convert? Look at this, man. A wide open Deshaun Jackson holds on to the ball. For some strange reason, Deshaun Jackson holds on to the ball very well. And Mutt, I don't know what it is, but so does Troy Palomalu. He holds on the ball very well, too. He not only holds on to the ball and gets the interception, he runs this one all the way back for six. My goodness, man. He had a heck of a game, man. Troy Palomalu had a, oh, my, yeah, that's crazy game. That's Derek Johnson, man. Derek Johnson and Troy Palomalu, man. If you don't have them on your team, man, I don't know what you're doing, man. You got to get these two cards, man. These two cards off the hook, man, as, as I threw another pick right there. That was a that was a chance-taking pick right there. That was a chance-taker. I thought I had him beat one-on-one, -on -one, but I didn't. So now my opponent has the ball. The score's 14 nothing. I'm not that worried. I feel like I'm a little better than my opponent, but you still don't want to underestimate your opponent, man. You never know he could come back. You never know what happens right here. 15 seconds left to go into the second half. It throws the ball right here again to the boy. Uh, Antonio Gates, that's a 96 overall. Antonio Gates, I believe that's a playoff version. And that's, that's a nice little run to the right, throw to the left right here with the boy Drew, Drew Brees, 88 overall Drew Brees. And he settles for the field goal. And that's Janikowski, so you know that is in. You know, he can kick it from here to, to Neverland, man. 
but uh, it's halftime right here. The score is 14 to three, and I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, even though he does have the ball. He needs two possessions in order in order to take the lead or tie the ball game up. So I'm not really feeling too bad. Right, I see what he can do, man. He's coming down the field here, first down to ten. I almost get the pick right there. I'm a little shocked my boy Kamali dropped that. He usually catches those, but this play right here, look at this, man. I end up getting the ball right here with Malcolm Smith, man. Getting the interception. Malcolm Smith is another guy. That will pick you off. You guys saw that game where he had the two picks, man. Just, just outstanding. But look at this. I throw a pick right back. And I'm feeling like, oh, my goodness. I'm like, come on, Johnny. But that's not Johnny's fault, man. None of those picks are his fault. Those, That pick right there, that was just another situation where I didn't see that guy. That guy is usually wide open. And I just anticipated him being wide open because he's been wide, wide open. That player has been wide open for that. Um, for that player so many times for me, I just anticipated that to happen and look at this man Great play right here by my opponent and I'm getting a nice long touchdown very rare that happens to me from first down And go right here. He gets a two-point conversion. That's actually that's, that's a two-point conversion So he gets a two-point conversion right there uh, Only putting him down down three so it's 14 11 I gotta come back with a score to see what I can do man toss to the left I get a nice juke right here with Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles has seven carries 112 yards and a touch man He had a really good game I come down the field, man. Let's try to mix up a little bit right here. I tried to, I actually tried to truck him right there, but it didn't. The truck still wouldn't come out. Next way right here, I give it to the boy. Hey, Lacey again, he's been running very well. So I decided to keep giving it to him. But when I, once I started, once the game started getting close, I'm like, you know what? As much as I want to play with Jane, Johnny Manziel and do my thing with him, let me, let me just start running the ball. And this is what happened right here. I ended up getting a nice run right here. Untouched, man. I followed my blockers perfectly. Made it a good job. One of my favorite running players in the game. That strong eye pro. And, uh, you know, it's an outstanding play, man. Third down to 10. He finds a wide open Percy Harvey, man. This guy was causing all types of havoc, man. He had six, uh, six receptions for 159 yards in this contest, man. He was an absolute beast. Uh, opponents coming down the field. I got to try to stop him. I'm up 10, but I don't have the victory yet. It's um three minutes to go in the game and look at this man my goodness this story I, I man this this card man this card is nutty I, I, I don't even know what else to say second interception second pick second interception for a touchdown Troy Palomaro has more touchdowns than Johnny Manziel right now and look at this man he gets another pick and another one for <laughs> my goodness. I, like, I, I don't I, I can't ask I can't ask him to do nothing else I cannot ask this man to do anything else and this is why I got him man this is exactly why I got him his awareness is outstanding his pursuit to the ball is immaculate and, and that's the reason why I got this guy man he's an absolute nightmare on the field and he can hit man he's an outstanding hitter and look at this man I can't look at look at this four interceptions three TDs three tackles man this dude's a, this dude is just He's he's a beast, man. I I mean, hit hit the like button for those four picks, man. For him, from from Troy Polamalu, man. Just do do that, man. Don't even do it for me, man. Do it for Troy. <laughs> do it for Troy, man. It was that was just he he's put on it. He's made it so that this lead is just unbearable right now. I, I got a twenty six point lead, a twenty four point lead. Much thanks to Troy Polamalu, man. Troy Polamalu has the most touchdowns on my team right now. <laughs> right now he had had the most touchdowns on my team, man. Just absolutely ridiculous, man. I take a 42 to 11 lead right here, a 31 point lead, and of course this game was out of reach for my opponent. And shout out to him, man. Um, much love, much respect, man. For, for hanging in there, staying in there, not quitting, man. You know, a lot of people usually have the tendency to quit as he tries one more heave right here. Is unsuccessful in getting a touchdown, and I'll take the victory. Right? The score is 42 to 11. I'll take that victory. We are two and zero in the season. Gonna try to go three and zero. See what happens. I'm going to play with Johnny Manziel again. That's uh, I, I just like playing with Johnny Manziel, man. He's just <laughs> the thing about him, man. That's uh, real quick. I know you probably know this already, but the thing about him that is really, really special about him in this game is that he's very elusive. He's probably the most elusive quarter. Man, look at those stats: four tackles, four ints, three touchdowns. <laughs> Johnny Mizell is probably the most elusive um, quarterback I've played with in this game. So um, that is, um, that's very nice to know. My man, well, shout out to my opponent one more time. Shout out to you guys, man. I appreciate you guys so much, for, man, for hanging in there with the boy, man. Pay attention to your boy. You know, show your boy love, all that great stuff. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.